while we're getting set up, um, if you just want to get a couple of things for lifting today, we're going to be doing some lunges. So you can either do those body weight or you can do them um, with some load. Uh, then we've got a bent over row today as well. Um, so again, having some either light or heavier weights to uh, load that as well. So, Charlie, I'm still having problems with my connection. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, so for our warm up today, hello. <laughs> Welcome, love that you've turned your camera on. So we're gonna start with our warm up today. We're gonna to start with some body weight squats. So we're gonna be starting with 10 of those. So welcome along to squad today. So what we're wanting to do is having our feet shoulder width apart. As we're lowering ourselves down to the ground, keeping our chest nice and tall, and we're keeping a nice neutral spine. So you can see with Trella as she goes down, She's keeping her back control. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Vasily. Hey, John. Okay, next up, we've got our reverse lunges. So we're doing five each side. Taking that step back. As you step back, we're really focusing on having our knee and hip and foot lined up, making sure that our knee's not dropping in or out. So as Charlie turns around, I can have a look. So if you do want that extra coaching, that's why I can see like what your knees are doing. You wanna make sure you've got a good like back control. That looks great, Trella. Once you've done your five each side, we're moving on to our good morning. So this is a really key one around back control. So you can see that Trella's got her hands on her hips. She softened her knees so they're not locked out or your hands on your head. If you're using your hands on your head, they're there just to gently guide. We're not pulling through there at all. And again, that beautiful line from her head all the way down to her hips is what we're trying to achieve. That looks great. Nice, Charla. So making sure you tuck your chin as you go down. Good job. Our next warm up exercise we've got coming up next is our push up. So, again, you've got a couple of options. You can be doing a full push up down on the ground like Trella's doing. You can drop to your knees like she's demonstrating right now. Or you can be going on an incline. So, finding a surface could be a desk at home, could be a kitchen top, could be a chili bin. <laughs> or an eski, I think that's what it's called here. Awesome, and we're doing 10 reps of that. Nice, Trella. And then our last warm up exercise is we're gonna do an ISO towel hold. So again, just grabbing a towel from at home or anything that you can put underneath your feet. Just working on warming up the back pattern our pull pattern, so she's standing on the towel, feet shoulder width apart, and then she's gonna pull up towards, her elbows up towards, as if she's trying to pull them up towards her rib cage. We're gonna hold there for 10 seconds. Again, her chin's tucked in, there's a nice line all the way down from her head right through to her hips. Awesome, good, and relax. Amazing, everyone feeling warm at home on Zoom, feel free to use the reactions, give me a little emoji. Um, we've got a great squad workout. Thanks, Vasily. Great squad session today. So like I see, we're gonna be working on that gait pattern. So the lunge today, we're doing a static lunge. That means, so Charla's gonna demonstrate this. So she's got some light dumbbells today. So we're in that split lunge position. She's gonna be lowering herself down and we've got a three second pause at the bottom. So there's gonna be a one, two, three, and then she's coming back up to the top. And we're gonna be doing 12 reps all one side. So again, we're getting that forward look. So I'm looking for, is her foot, knee and hip lined up? 
which is great. Got that three second pause at the bottom and then she's all the way up. And then we're gonna do each side. Our second exercise that we're pairing up with this. Trell has got the detergent at home. <laughs> so she's mixing it up, so a little bit different. Um, and we're doing a bent over row. So if we go side on, so a feet shoulder width apart, again, that nice line from your head all the way down to your hips, maintaining that neutral spine. She's got her chin tucked and she's rowing up to her elbows towards her side. Okay, amazing. And we've got 12 reps of that today as well and four, four sets. So I'll give you a couple seconds to grab your weights if you need to. Get yourself set up. I'm gonna try. See if we can get on live today. <laughs> Might not be happening. Okay, so I'm gonna put some music on. So, gonna get ourselves started. All right, Trella, so when you're good to go. What's that? Awesome. Okay, so away we're going. Dropping down that one, two, three, and then back up to the top. So we're keeping that static position the whole time. Lowering back down, holding that position for three seconds, and then back up. Good, and she's just getting into that nice rhythm, holding at the bottom, and coming back up and keeping a nice tall position. Good job. So again, if you wanna put on your camera and get some coaching from me, feel free to do that. Nice, good job, Trella. Good. What I'm looking for from the side position is I'm just looking at her back control. I'm looking at how she's, when she stands up, that she's moving as one together. So we don't want like the hips going before the upper body or vice versa. Nice, good job. And when she swaps legs, I'm gonna get her to face me so then I can have a look at that front angle. Good job. Really challenging that bottom movement. So Trella's swapping over to her other leg now, facing me. Good. Again, this does challenge your balance and your control. You can see like sometimes you might have to adjust the width of where your feet are. You saw Trella just move her leg out a little bit wider. Nice, good job. Good. Great job, Trella. Driving that knee out just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Good job. You can see the concentration on her face. The bird. <laughs> awesome. Keep going. Get those 12 reps in, everyone. Nice, amazing. <laughs> <That's a burn>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shake out the legs if you need to. All right, coming up now, we've got our bent over row. So again, feet are shoulder width apart. She's standing side on so I can see her back control. And we're just doing 12 reps. We just wanna do this in a nice, slow and controlled manner. Really pulling the elbows back, making sure both arms is moving as one. Nice, Trella. And she's got our chin tucked. Often we see the head up. We wanna keep that chin tucked. So we've got that nice line all the way from the top of her, back of her head, all the way down to her, her hips. Making sure you squeeze those shoulder blades, Trella. Yeah, that's better. 
Good. Good. All right. So we've got our rest time now. So obviously the big difference with squad training, we are really trying to focus on that strength component, okay, which requires a little bit more of that rest time compared to say our big hit session. So if that set felt easy and you feel like you could have done a couple more reps, if you've got something at home that you can load it a little bit heavier, then you can do that as well. Feel free to also put up an emoji, let me know, or if you want to put in the comments how you're doing. If you're finding anything that's hard and you need me to clarify, you can put that in the comments as well. Awesome. Got 30 more seconds. And again, right now as well, you might have seen on our social media, we've got this great jumpstart program. So if you are wanting some one-on-one -on -one coaching just to go over some of your goals or if you um, just aren't that confident with some of these movements, then that's a great opportunity for you as well. All right, Trella, we're into set two. <laughs> Come to our feet. And we've got those 12 reps. Again, we've got that three second pause at the bottom. Nice, and again, it's at one, two, three, just so you've got an idea of just like how slow that three seconds is, right? So I know as we get tired, that three seconds might become a one, two, three. Okay, so we wanna try and be consistent and maintain that rhythm and that speed. Nice, good job. Awesome, Trella, doing amazing. So again, if you do want this coaching, then you can turn your cameras on, you can see what you're up to, give you that feedback. Otherwise right now, Trella's getting all my love and attention, <laughs> all my coaching. Good job, Trella. Good, so she's turning around. So one thing as a coach is whenever I'm working with anyone, making sure that we walk around, we walk around so that we can look at the body from all that different angles. Something that might look good from the front might not look good from the side. So that's why I'm getting Trella to change her position so that I can see what she looks like from the different angles. Nice Trella. Uh, just making sure we're dropping straight down and we're not getting too forward on our lunge. Nice and drive that knee out. Yeah, that's better. There you go. That's the knee position I want. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now you're in position. Nice, good job. Keep going, doing good. Nearly there. Doing well at home, everyone. Keep going. I know this is a tough exercise, especially with the paws at the bottom. Really focus on that balance and control and weight evenly through the front foot in particular. All right, Trella's on to the second set of her bent over row. Yeah, pull those shoulder blades back, Trella. Just a little rounded through that lower back. And you can see she's got her chin tucked. Both arms are moving as one. Elbows are coming back. She's got those soft knees. Nice, good job. Yeah, keep going, we're nearly there. Nice, 
Awesome. <laughs> Good job. We're halfway, everyone. So we're on that rest now. How are you doing, Trella? Oh, my quads are burning. Quads are burning? Yeah. Yeah, it's a challenging exercise, especially with 12 reps. Um, if anyone's got any questions while we're resting, then this is a good opportunity to put them in the comments as well. Um, Trella, just on your bent over row, I just want you to focus on this next set on your lower back. Okay, we're just starting to get a little rounded. So think about pulling your shoulder blades back. Okay, so that chest is nice and tall and our back's just a little bit through here, right? So the difference between there and there, okay? So kind of sticking that butt out. You just work on that little bit of that lower back. Got 30 seconds, so if you're doing like what Chell is doing, she's shaking out her legs, she's getting some water on board, which is really important. And like you're probably feeling as well, like with the squad stuff, it's tough, right? So it's not the kind of like the heart rate's not pumping, maybe like the same as big hit, but you're certainly working hard in these squad sessions. And we've got two more rounds. All right, we're getting into round three. Okay, All right, Chella, off we go. We've got some Whitney to motivate you today. <laughs> Nice, good job. You can see she's maintaining her rhythm. I mean, that consistency, right? Good. And even if you have at home, like, uh, you know, if you have a mirror at home, like a full length mirror or something that you can use to like check what your knees are doing, like, that's a great tool as well. Um, so if you're not wanting to turn on your cameras, that's no worries. Um, you could have a, like, do your workout in front of a mirror. And you can just check your own knee control and make sure that it's all nice and lined up. Awesome, Trella. Keep going. Working out on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah, shake out that leg before you need to go to the next one. Good. Yeah, that's better with your knee control. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Trella's dogs are wanting to work out with us today. <laughs> Good, keep going. Nice. Good job. Remember, this is our second to last seat, so I know you're all working hard. This leg doesn't like me. Yeah, let's go, Trella. <laughs> Nice, good job, good job. You're nearly there, a couple more reps. Nice. All right, bent over row time. So Trella's got her washing detergent. My go-to at home is my candles, so I use these. They're a little light though. Awesome. Again, chest up, squeezing those shoulder blades. Good job. She's got those soft knees. Okay, stick those hips out a little bit. Yep. Good job. Nearly there. <laughs> one, one, one more set, yeah, exactly. 
Can't believe how much of a burn it was. Over, how are the bent over rows feeling? Good. Good? Yeah. Nice. And the lunges. <laughs> the lunges are killing me. Yep. So can you feel a difference between your right leg and your left leg? Definitely. My right leg, I feel, is more off balance. Mm -hmm. So if any of you on Zoom are feeling that way, again, totally normal. Like we find that all the time with different people that we work with is that they'll have one side that feels stronger than the other. It's just great to be really aware of that so that when you're doing other movement patterns, um, that are in like a single leg or a double that you're aware of maybe one side being a little stronger than the other um, because it can affect how you move. So th that body awareness is huge when you are exercising. Nice, good job, Trella. You got 15 seconds and we're in our last round, everyone. Doing amazing. And then we've got like our conditioning little circuit. All right, we are good to go. Music back up. Nice. And this challenges you mentally as well, right? Like this is like it's a tough exercise. See trailers like you know, legs are fatigue. So you know, stay within your limits, what feels comfortable. Keep going. And if you need to at home, shorten that pause at the bottom to finish off this last set, then, then do that. Maybe it's only a two second pause. <laughs> Keep going, Trella. You're nearly there. Remember, it's your last one. Awesome job. Oh, got really shaky. <laughs> last set, last set. Yep, good. Good knee control. Amazing. That you've got that balance. Maybe the last set, so keep going. Awesome. Trella does triathlon, so this is good for her leg strength. All that running and cycling she does and swimming. <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. Let's go, Trella. Oh, keep going. We're nearly there, nearly there. I can see you working really hard right now. Keep going, keep going. Ah, Good job, good job. <laughs> oh, that was hard. Here we go. Last exercise, you get a little break before our circuit. Good, chest back, yeah. All those shoulder blades. Nice, good job. We're nearly there. You get a little rest after this, everyone. Keep going. Keep going. Watch that lower back control. Nice. <laughs> wow, <Glad> that's over. <laughs> Awesome work. All right, well, Trella's 
having a little break, <laughs> getting a water. I'll go over our nicks for <laughs> Vasily. Love it. <laughs> I know. Why is there no fire emoji on Zoom, Vasily? I mean, what's going on? Leagues are dead. <laughs> How's everyone else feeling? Susan, how are you doing? DW, Elaine, feel free to let me know how you're doing in the comments while you're resting. Yep, love it. Thumbs up, clapping. Awesome. So our circuit that we've got to finish off, we've got four exercises. We've got our mountain climbers. Lovely, Vida. Awesome. So with our mountain climbers, so again, you can do this with your hands on the ground or in an incline position. So we want to make sure our hips are down a bit, Trella. Yep. And then we're into our mountain climbing position. So you're just driving the knees forward. Again, making sure that they stay in line with your hips. We're not wanting them to go outside your hands. And like I said, you can incline this exercise as well. So just demonstrating from the front on so I can see that her knees are inside her hands. Okay. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more on that exercise, you can run the mountain climbers. Otherwise, you can do what uh, Trello was doing in tapping. Okay. Our second exercise is a hollow core hold. Okay. So I'm going to show you the one version. So the body's really nice and long. Okay. So our shoulder blades are off the ground, legs are straight. If you find that challenging, you just want to make your body smaller. Okay. So she's brought her knees in. Arms will come up a little bit, so you've got that option, okay? So either the longer you are, the harder, the smaller, the easier that exercise becomes. Really focusing on keeping your back in control with the ground and not getting into an extension, okay? Our third exercise, we're back up onto our feet and we've got lunge jumps. So Trell is gonna show you the option for the lunge jumps. <laughs> Working on that balance, so you've got our lunge jumps, or you can do a reverse lunge. Okay, so just stepping back. Awesome. Good job. And our last exercise is we're down on the ground and we're doing a glute bridge hold. So our feet are flat on the ground. So feet down. Hands can be by our side, and she's gonna lift her hips up. Okay, and again, I want that nice line from her top of her knees all the way down, so it's nice and straight like that. Okay, good job. We really wanna squeeze our glutes at the top. All right, so we're, this is a quick turn around this one, so it means we do have to make sure we're getting up and down off the ground nice and quick. So we are, we're working for 30 seconds with a 10 seconds transition, okay? So today I know you worked really hard, so we're gonna go through that one round and we're gonna have a little rest and then we're gonna do two more rounds, okay? So we've got three in total today. All right, Trelly, you good to go? Ready. All right, we've got those mountain climbers. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and away we go. So you can see that she's doing the running. I've got my chair. So I'm doing an incline position. We're halfway. Good job. So you can see again, I've got that nice line from my head all the way down to my hips, controlling it in three, two, one, and we're down onto the ground, into our hollow core hold. In three, two, one, and away we go. So we're in that position. Again, if you need to be easier, just make it smaller or longer to make it harder. Good job, everyone. Keep going, keep going. About 10 more seconds. And three, two, one, and rest. All right, jumping up onto our feet, we've got our lunge jumps or reverse lunges. 
And we're going in three, two, one, and away we go. So again, I'll show the reverse lunge option. Trella's doing the jumps. Just stepping back, be using your arms. We're halfway. Keep going. 10 seconds. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Nice, we're back down onto the ground for our glute bridge hold. Going in three, two, one, and away we go. Hips are up. We've got that nice line all the way through the whole body. So we're not seeing any little dips, really squeezing the glutes. We're halfway there, doing amazing everyone. 10 seconds, keep going. You're gonna get a little break after this. And three, two, one, and rest. All right, I'm gonna give you a 30 seconds rest. Between round two. I love it, the silly see we're putting the quad in squad. <laughs> love it. So get that, cup, that water that you need. Again, like you would have seen me, I inclined my mountain climbers. Do whatever feels comfortable for you that you can maintain continuous movement for the 30 seconds. All right, Trello, we're going in five seconds. Let's go, run on Zoom. In three, two, one, and away we go. Good. See, Trello slowed it down on this seat, nice and controlled. And chin is tucked. Amazing, everyone. Keep going. We're halfway. 10 seconds. Keep going. Round two. And three, two, one, and rest. Staying on the ground, rolling over onto our back for our hollow core hold. And three, Two, one, and away we go. So again, finding that position where you can maintain back control. We don't want to get into that extended and big arch through our lower back. Good job, we're halfway. Really want to make sure we look after our back in this exercise. Nearly there, keep going, keep going. Five seconds, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing, up onto our feet. Again, doing our lunge jumps or reverse lunges. And three, two, one, and away we go. Nice, Charlotte's got the reverse lunges going. So you can do a little modified reverse jump. You need to jump in between to give yourself a break. You can do that. Keep going. Got 10 seconds. Nearly there. Three, two, one, and rest. Down onto the ground for our glute bridge hold. And three, two, one, and away we go. Hips up nice and high, squeeze those glutes. Feet are flat on the ground, weight evenly through the feet. Find a spot on the roof to look at. We're halfway. Good job, last 10 seconds everyone. Keep those glutes squeezed. Maintain that nice line. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. We've got a little 30 second break before our final round, everyone. You're doing amazing. Two more minutes of actual work. You've got this. You have to grab a water, do what you need to do. We're going in 10 seconds. We're back to the top. <laughs> All right, Charla. Let's go. In three, 
two, one, and away we go. I'm gonna do my incline lunge. Good, doing the running one this time. Doing my incline, just really controlling my movement and my back control. About 10 more seconds. Keep going, keep going. And three, two, one. Nice, good job. Onto the ground, hollow core hold. In three, two, one, and away we go. Third round, I know it's a little, you're probably fatigued, so again, can't emphasize enough, looking after your back control. Good job, we're halfway, we've got 15 more seconds. You can see that Trella's really brought her knees in so that she can control her lower back. We're avoiding that arch. Last five seconds, everyone. Three, two, one, and rest, up onto our feet. Last little bit of lunge jumps. Everyone's got this in three, two, one, and away we go. Yep, so Trella's doing the full ones. I'm doing the modified, so a little jump in between. Keep going, everyone. Focus on that knee control and your lunge pattern. We've got 10 more seconds. Keep going, everyone. In three, two, one. Woo, we've got last 30 seconds, everyone. You're crushing it. On the ground in three, two, one. Let's go, everyone. Last 30 seconds. You can have a cold glass of water, lunch after this. And relax, keep going. Halfway, last 15 seconds, everyone. Crushing it. Nice, Trella, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing job, everyone. Grab a water if you need to. Amazing. How are you feeling, Trella? Awesome. I'm glad I'm done. <laughs> yeah. So we used our legs a lot in this exercise. Um, so really important, like um, looking at like a calf stretch in particular. So you can do that on the ground um, in a bent knee position. Um, I can demonstrate that one for you. So we're down here and we've just got the back leg straight and the front legs bent. You want to hold that for around like 30 seconds each side. Just hang it out down here. <laughs> Change it up. Really trying to push that heel back on that extended leg. Good, and then working our way up the body. Do our hip flexes. Make sure you can see me and Trella's head. So you can see from that side angle. She's still nice and tall with her body. She's not leaning forward. We're just trying to tip our hips up and again, holding for 30 seconds each side. Everyone did amazing. Thank you for joining us today. Later on, if you want a little bit more, we've got a big hit today at five. Change sides. But you all did amazing. Thank you for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed it. We love having you here every time. Trella might be going to jump in the lake next to sit down. It's looking really good right now. <laughs> awesome. And then the last one is just a quad stretch. So again, you can hold on to something for some balance if you need. Just 
bringing the heel up towards the glute. We definitely use those in the front of the legs today. We use our legs a lot. So really important that we cool down and stretch. Try and help out with any muscle soreness we might have. Awesome. So last switching over. And again, just a reminder, if you are looking for some one-on-one -on -one sessions to go over any technique stuff, if you feel more comfortable with that, um, then check out the link that's in, in the comments, um, but also on our Instagram as well around like our Jumpstart program. But thank you so much for joining us today on this lovely Thursday. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I look forward to seeing some of you again soon. Bye.